a what is up all you do it yourselfers my name is Dylan Taylor this is my workshop and today we are going to be fixing broken license plate bolts that are stuck in the back door of a Toyota minivan for this project you are going to need some JB quick weld which is an epoxy it's a quick setting epoxy a quarter 20 nut a quarter 20 screw with a flat head on it on the back of the, the shoulder of the head is flat you want two of those the bolt doesn't need to be that long we're actually going to have to cut this one you're also going to either want a file or an angle grinder i'm going to use an angle grinder but i'll show you that we can also use a file i don't want some masking tape as well so let's do this uh these bolts they both sheared off when we took the plate off you can see that the one the one is proud here and we don't want that. This one's inset, which is gonna be fine. Uh, this one is either gonna to need to be filed down. This tool is like like a couple bucks at your hardware store. Everybody should have one of these in their, their home tool kit. File it down and that's not gonna cost you anything. If you have a cordless or corded grinder, you can use that. You could file it down. See, it's uh, it just take a lot longer. Like I said, I'm gonna use the grinder. Okay, so clean that up. We're gonna take this this nut, we're going to JB weld it right where the other one was, and that's what we need the masking tape for, is to hold it while the epoxy sets. Most people probably that are doing this won't have the hardware with them, so if you're gonna purchase this, get a very, very short, almost the same length as the nut bolt, so this would be no good. You need a shorter bolt. But I have the tools to cut it, so I'm just going to cut it. To get the right length, I'm just going to tighten the nut up to the, the shoulder of the bolt screw there, and that's where I'm gonna cut it off. Okay, so this is what we have now. So that's about how long we need it to be. And then, here's our nut. I'm actually gonna shorten these down a little bit more yet because I don't, I, I, I foresee some of the epoxy coming into the hole of the bolt. So uh, I don't want this to tighten down and basically act as a puller and pull the nut off of the, the back of the van. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put this in the vise and I will file it down a little. Next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is find a piece of scrap. It could be a piece of cardboard or whatever. And we are going to mix our epoxy on it. Put on some gloves. And we're putting on the gloves because it is really messy and really gross and you don't really want epoxy on your hands. And we want equal parts. So that's way too much. This stuff stinks by the way too. And you need something to mix it with, so. You wanna make sure that it's mixed really good because if it's not, it doesn't cure properly. Okay, I'm gonna say that that's good. And we're gonna take the two nuts. I'm gonna take a little bit of this epoxy here on the screw. Make a flat surface, not too bulged up because I don't want, I don't want it to ooze into the center of that nut. Two pieces of tape. Okay, we'll just gently set that nut right there. And the center does have a bit of epoxy in it. Now, now that I got them where I want them, I'm going to put a little piece of tape on it. I'm actually gonna have to shave those bolts down a little bit more now that I know that there's some epoxy stuck in there. I'm going to kind of put some more epoxy around the shoulders here. This doesn't really have to look pretty because no one's ever gonna see it. There we go. We will let this sit. It says that it sets it in six minutes. That's pretty awesome. And then it cures in four hours, I think. We're just gonna leave that sitting there and we're gonna have to come back to it. Okay, so it's been about four hours. It's nighttime, you guys aren't gonna see hardly anything. I'm gonna take the tape off. Little button screws basically now. One, two threads engaged. Go and then over here, 
I'm not cranking the crap out of it because I don't want to pull it off of the van here. But there we go. That's as much force as gonna be on the back of this van when it's driving. We're good. That's how you easily, really cheaply repair that. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video, maybe learned something new. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. See you guys all next time. Peace out.